buddy. Buddy update. Welcome to or back to my channel. So today's video is gonna be something that I'm so so excited to share. It's how to get back on track. So I'm gonna give you some body updates and also some tips on how to find your body back or how to get a better body and a better like healthy lifestyle when you kind of felt unmotivated and you don't have the same habits as you used to. The thing is it honestly works for quarantine but it can work with any period of your life like I don't know finals or you were sick or you were on holidays but no worries you can still find your body back once you're gonna start eating healthier and training again your body is just gonna transform again so it's never lost everything that you did before is great because you learn some stuff and also like your body has some muscle memories kind of thing so it's great that you train before and that's great that you tried making healthy recipes that's never lost okay so my first tip is to not feel guilty in terms of my own body i said that in my first isolation vlog i was saying i know i'm gonna gain weight i was sure i was gonna gain weight i didn't weight it myself i never do it but i can see it like i can see it in the mirror i can see it when i train i can i can feel it in my body as well i struggle so much to do like pull-ups and man this is annoying me not because like my back is not looking the same but because i can't do the exercise properly and to me it was weeks of hard work but the most annoying thing for me in terms of my legs is I was really increasing my quads and like the weights and I was really getting better at it I was gaining a lot of strength and a lot of muscles in my legs and even though like I did home workouts I did some jump quads anything like that I still lost a lot of strength in my legs and I can feel it and I know when I will be back at the gym with heavy weights I'm gonna suffer a lot so I'm just gonna get changed and put my bikini on and I'm just gonna show you how my body looks like after three months two months of no gym workouts and not the same diet as I used to have So this is how much my body has changed. I lost a lot of abs definition and I don't I don't feel like I lost a lot of upper body because my shoulder are always like the part of my body which gets shredded easier and first. My legs also, I don't store a lot of fat on my leg. I feel like it's mostly my hips and also like my glutes. So I didn't really gain any quads or like any calves. If you go on the side, you can see like I gained some lower belly but I always store fat here. Well, well, well my friends, let's go on to my tip which is healthy grocery shopping. So I can't say that enough. It's so important that your fridge and your pantry are filled up with like healthy foods and healthy alternatives because you just have like sodas and chocolate and like sweet stuff, a lot of meat and not enough like ingredients to cook something healthy. Then you're just gonna snack on that and like like cook and healthy stuff so that's not what you want to do so one thing that I use every time that I go grocery shopping is my healthy grocery list so you can just have it like on my website if you click it's totally free you can download it on your laptop and print it or you can just you know save it on your phone put it in your fab I will put the link below in the description as well it helps me to not forget anything like I don't want to come home and think oh well I'm missing this and this and this so depending Depending on the weeks, sometimes I'm just adding different ingredients because I know I'm gonna bake some cakes or I'm just gonna try some new recipes but at least I have like my basic stuff. I know a lot of people actually struggle during ISO like snacking on a lot of stuff because they just had the kitchen or food just next to them and they were just kind of bored so they were eating really 
eat unhealthy food I'm really grateful because I don't have any eating disorder or I don't have any like anxiety or stuff like that so I don't really like eat mindlessly or like bored eating I don't really do that I eat because I'm hungry or because my body is craving something but I'm not afraid of eating any sort of food but I know like from some people it's kind of struggling to have this many food next to them and just wanting to snack and eat constantly the better option for you is honestly to have a healthy stuff because if you want to snack you're gonna snack on something that is kind of good for your body so that's a better option so I'm not really gonna film anything at the grocery store because yeah you have like your mask on and everything so it's kind of a little bit complicated but I will show you what I got when I come back So it wasn't like a big grocery shopping because I already had a lot of stuff into my fridge. I just bought some veggies here like bell pepper, some cucumber for my salad. This is essential for my smoothies. Coconut yogurt is so good, especially just like that. If it's organic, normally you can just eat without any sugar or any fruits because it tastes so good. Some blueberries to snack on. Coconut milk for my baking and my recipes. I use this into savory stuff and also so like sweet kombucha this one is so delicious i love kombucha during summer especially maple syrup i go crazy with this one for just like baking it's my favorite sweetener some tofu for proteins these are my favorite to use for making like pad thais and stuff like that some lemon and ginger as well for like immune shots or just juices so one of my third tip is to actually cook something that you love but just in a healthier version of it so i love patties and burgers and stuff like that so what i want to make is like a healthy veggie version of it so i'm gonna try to make some patties without like the bread because i don't have any buns but i just want to make something with red beans chickpeas some spices and also some maybe like zucchini shredded or like spinach so let's go make some lunch i'm ashamed about the lies and the worthless games but the wine and the night made me feel okay No other you, no other me, no other us, babe One of a kind, and I won't let it slip away I can see you in my head, I can see you in my bed I can see you doing all those things we used to do instead All the fights at 2 a.m. when you knew I was your man The only thing I'm thinking about, I really gotta hold on So now we're coming to my fourth tip, which is do you even drink your water, okay? This is like non-negotiable. You must drink during the day about one liter and a half and sometimes two liters and sometimes even more if you just like work out because when you work out, you're just like sweating a lot. So for me personally, I used to struggle a lot drinking enough water during the day. Like I had honestly no problem eating because every two hours I'm hungry, but I'm never, never thirsty, like except during summer when it's like super hot and like when I'm training um, at the gym I'm drinking a lot of water because every time I take a break during my session I drink a lot of water like sometimes more than one liter so I managed to change that and now every morning right after I wake up I tend to drink about half a liter of water so if you're a little bit like me and you tend to struggle to drink 
water I highly recommend you to just add something to it so like I did you can just add like chia seeds and lime juice or like lemon juice works as well and I don't know why like don't ask me why but I'm sure there's like a scientific reason behind that but every time every week I ate something like a lot of oily food or unhealthy food my body is craving something lemony I don't know why but I crave lemon juice and the second thing I can't recommend enough for you if you struggle drinking water is to buy a reusable bottle of water because it's honestly going to change your life not kidding because I was really a bad drinker but with that one I drink every single time I don't tend to forget okay in the morning I don't forget to drink if I'm like away from my apartment or anything like that and sometimes I need to drink water but I don't have any water available with that in my bag I know I have water and I always put it like next to my computer all night when I work every single time I have my bottle of water next to me and then the second reason why I love bottle of water is because you can visualize how much you drink during the day and that's the most important thing like I know this one is half a liter and I know how many times during the day I refilled it so I know I drank like two liters something like that so this bad boy is amazing I'm always carrying it with me and I know you can use like basically any bottle of water but I like to use reusable ones because it's great for the environment and this is important and you should do that too also my banana tree is dying like the leaves or kind of turning brown so I don't know if it's because I put too much water in it but I don't think it's that I'm just gonna change the pot and have like a bigger pot and then there's like these parasites that are like sucking the leaves so I don't know if it's that that is making it sick I need help because I really want to save it and like I want it to grow and get bigger so if you have any advices please put them in the comments below I would highly appreciate appreciate it. So now we're moving on to my last tip, which is my favorite, it's do your favorite workouts. So I know it's not the same for everyone, some people really like to start off with a really intense session, really sweaty, really hard, but I personally enjoy doing my favorite body part or like doing my favorite training and not force myself to do a workout that is a little bit harder for me to get motivated and also to find the strength to do it. For example, my favorite body part to train is upper body, shoulders or like back sessions are my all-time favorite I just have like the best time in the gym when I train the leg session I like these but not as much as I like upper body and the thing is with a leg session it requires like 200% of my motivation and also like 200% of my strength and you know when I go to the squat rack and I know I'm gonna have to lift like 40 kilos or like 50 kilos I really have to be mentally prepared so it's kind of like a really hard way to to start off all over again I tend to really feel disappointed and unmotivated because I kind of lost a lot of strength and when I want to do like some exercises like press machines or squats I can feel like I can't lift as much weight as I used to so for me it's really not really like I feel disappointed after so it's not a right way for me to start off maybe I'm gonna do like a leg session at the end of the week but like I said it really depends on how you like to start off but I know for me it has always always worked every time I need to come back after holidays or a huge break I do a shoulder session every single time and it just puts me in the best mood and then I know like the next day or the day after it I'm gonna be able to re smash a leg session and that's the best thing and then the second thing is like your muscles have like muscles memory so that means that once you've trained it for I don't know a few weeks a few months years is even better so your body kind of reminds itself how to gain muscles so it's gonna get faster and easier for you to gain muscles and especially like in those areas that you train so you're more likely to see results and changes within a few weeks because of that muscle memory so that's very much all I had to say about my last tip so I'm just gonna do one of my video about upper body you can click here if you want to see it now I'm gonna get change and we're gonna do this workout Memories get old Tiny love left unsaid Like grains of sand left in my
This was so good and so much knitted. My shoulders are actually like shaking. Like it's hard for me to just carry my tripod. But yeah, this is the best workout that I had in a long time. Even though I miss the gym, I'm still gonna train like that for now. Just moving your body in your first day of starting off all that again is just giving you this extra boost like for the next workout. But that's why I tell you like do something that you love. Maybe don't go like for a 10 10k run if you hate that because you're honestly not really gonna feel motivated for the next days now i'm just craving a smoothie and i know i did one like this morning but yeah it happens often i do smoothie like twice a day and i'm not even mad about that i'm feeling like chocolatey stuff so i think i'm just gonna make a banana peanut butter and chocolate smoothie i really gotta hold on This one, I'm just gonna finish that within like two minutes. I think I'm just gonna cut this video here. I hope you did enjoy it and you like the few tips that I gave to you. It's honestly five rules that I always apply when I come back from holidays or like a huge break from my fitness routine, my diet routine, anything like that. Also, don't forget to give this video a big like because it honestly supports my channel so much and the bigger my channel is growing, the better quality content I can give it to you and the more I can film and I honestly want to film more and more videos. Also, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss my upcoming videos. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!